What is up everybody? It's a brand new day here in the world of TechIt and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um, my new compound. Uh, I moved to a different server because my brother moved. I was on his server. Um, so I'm on my brother's old roommate server now. So just today I'm gonna show you a little bit around my compound here. I got my uh, I'll start by showing you the inside of my factory here. Um, it is a lot smaller than Draw Athens Inc. was, but it's actually more efficient, and it's it's got blue electric power, and I'm not sure if Draw Athens Inc. actually had that. If you haven't seen my Draw Athens Inc. video, it's a, it's my old world, and it's a f ginormous factory. It's like five times as big. Um, but here's all my blue electric stuff. It's cool. I got my wire come down here. I should really run this on the outside and feed it through the ground, but I was tired at the time, so I just ran it and broke out the glass. And then put a fence around it so creepers couldn't hop in. <laughs> so, just some white lamps here. Um, these these just seem cheaper than redstone lamps. Um, plus, I wanted this uh, plenty bright so I can see what it's doing. And I don't want any creepers or anything spawning in here. And... go people bothering me um, and so I got all my chests over here I might move this into a different facility once I got uh, when, once I got my quarries kind of set up um, I was thinking about making some quarries uh, over there maybe or um, setting some up maybe in that area over there probably probably over here or I don't know I'm gonna have to run power to it and that's gonna be <laughs> That's gonna be a long way to do that. So, uh, so yeah. Okay. So, I think that's about it. Um, and I'm not sure if I ever showed you guys, but my model is actually uh, um, Isaac from uh, Dead Space. I believe it's Dead Space Two skin. So let's go ahead and uh, let's strap on our armor and our rubber boots and uh, throw on our electric jetpack that I made and uh... blast off alright so first I'll uh... here's just kind of an overview of my place. I got my geothermal facility there I was gonna put in a kind of power tower there um, I was planning on putting it inside this but it's a little too far away from everything especially if I'm going to be putting in um, some uh, quarries like over here that might be a little too far away but uh, uh, let's go for a ride on the railcraft uh, track here and uh, we'll get our way over there put in some nice jumps powered tracks here um, uh, this took me forever to figure out how to do this um, so here's my geothermal facility it's on, also on fire with netherrack because I like fire um, so basically how this works is I have lava in all these tanks here and it I have a bunch of wooden pipes leading out of the bottom of them and a bunch of redstone engines that are pumping it from those pipes into um, that's where, oh okay uh, into my geothermal generator here just keeping this filled with lava and then that runs along the glass fiber cable uh, into my MFE and in which case I can uh, uh, I'm gonna pump this out to the power station out there or something I don't know I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do yet but in case you didn't have tanks full of lava you haven't found a lava source that's too huge you can take buckets um, and fill up a lava cell and just you know convert it with your energy condenser or just stand there for like 10 hours just grabbing lava and buckets and manually putting them into the tubes but that's a pain in the ass so here's that all see if I can get through the door um, we'll go up to the roof here come on there you go um, basically just have it pumping down there and you see the pipe all the way down there that's the closest lava source I could find and you notice that waypoint that says volcano that's actually the nearest actual volcano like tall place to get lava that I found um, 
but I found a big enough place, obviously, that's, that's 135 tanks full of lava, that's gonna last me a while, uh, and that's just so cool looking, it's just so much fire and red and, and brimstone, and uh, it just brings out the best in me, um, and I'll show you where that, that uh, goes, um, although I, I don't know, I, I need to do something with this, I need to put a bunch of windmills around it, um, Maybe I'll make this like a blue electric, like, just tower of power. I, I don't know. Um, but I actually started out underground like most people do. And so I'll show you guys that. And, oh yeah, my floating castle. I almost mentioned it. I'll, I'll get around to it. Uh, but I want to show you my, uh, my farmhouse here. Brian's farmhouse. And getting some lag. Weird. We got my table, computer, um, bed, night table, um, sink. This took a while to, because I had to use, uh, you know, hand saws for all this crap, and I just put another rack under there, and I put one, I think, right there, and lit it on fire, so it had smoke coming out of the top still, um, rather than just putting a bunch of like cobwebs or something to make it look like it, because that, unless you're really far away, it doesn't look like it. I have the most trouble going out of these doors. Um, Okay, so I had my ladder going out the back here, and uh, I used that middle. Ah, oh, getting a bunch of lag here. Um, I used that middle water spout to uh, waterfall rather to get up there. Um, but uh, so this wheat farm here, I had to put in all these things up here because uh, my castle actually literally blots out the sun, um, and I didn't think about that when putting the sweet farm. So I had to put all these and put torches because that actually works. I was eventually going to put sunstone, but I kind of like the look at this. It's, it's nice and old and day looking, kind of with those kind of torches. Um, meanwhile, we got, you know, tanks of lava up there. And this is the hole where I started. I First things first, uh, the owner of the server, my old roommate, um, made a giant bee uh, for Brian out of glowstone and I just filled it up around with cobblestone and once I got back from the nether I put another rack around it because it always stays on fire and I like fire um, so we'll go down here this is where my mine is um, that's my jetpack down okay we're good um, like my bed and everything was down here and this will go into my mine See if I can get speed going. There you go. I love going down this with a jetpack, just because it's so fast. At least up until that point. Um, so that that floating castle you saw up there, um, I didn't use like a jetpack, or I, I didn't like I basically didn't cheat in order to make that. It it took so much goddamn cobblestone. I had to turn it all into bricks. Like, uh, into stone and then I'd make it into stone bricks this was all before my energy get it was like one of the first things I did because I, I wanted to live in the castle in the sky to start out with so I started out by um, making all these tunnels these go on for like fucking 500 meters each that's how much I've had to grab and I had to hollow out all this um, in order to get enough cobblestone and I went down here and uh, there's like five tunnels branching off down there at bedrock level um, and a uh, piece of advice for people who are mining with using tech it uh, make a divining rod now they're not that expensive and uh, it, it basically tells you the EMC value of uh, um, of nearby ores like say if I were to port, point it at this one right here I think to the left and right of it and to the top and bottom of it like in a three by three square or whatever, it it'll show like just what's all around it or something like that. I don't know. It's technical and it it does things. <laughs> um, so you can you can um, see the EMC value of all your ores that you're looking for. So if you see something with an EMC value of like four thousand, you know you've found uranium. If you see something of the uh, value of eight thousand. Um, you know you have found uh, some diamonds, so good job.
and kill these guys. Don't want to mess with my pump. Oh, that's getting kind of low. Um, too far away. There we go. Why is this? There we go. I'd say I'm almost out of lava, but it looks like I just need to move it down there and I'll have a shit ton more. I was so lucky to find this, like, so much lava. This, so much lava. Clear this out a little bit more. I should do this later. Um, so, here's my pump. It's got the uh, pumping tube or whatever leading down there. It's powered by redstone engines and uh, I got my redstone and all of this is waterproof pipe. Um, took me a while to figure out how to do that. Um, and basically this just takes the lava from down there, sucks it up, puts it up this pipe. You can't see it at work now because my tanks are actually full. You can kind of see it. See, it's not going anywhere. It's just kind of sitting in there because it's got nothing to do. Um, but as soon as I start using energy um, and need to fill up the tanks more, it'll go and up it'll go. And uh, once it's all cleared out, then uh, I can actually just mine it, and it's going to be awesome. So let's get out of here. I've spent enough time doing that. And we're out here. So what I'm going to actually do... Um, Got my pipe running all the way along, along here, um, with my lava. Uh, before I show you my castle and end this, I'm gonna sleep really quick so it's a little easier to see. Um, be all good. I should have just ran over to my house. I'm I'm so like wired to run to these two buildings because that's all I've been working on for the past two days is those two buildings getting that all set up. I'm trying to sleep. Fuck off. You bitch. Oh, it, it was fun going into the uh, into the Nether and getting blaze rods with not armed with nothing but snowballs. It's uh, if you if you guys should only if you guys only knew what it was like. I, I should have recorded. It. it was awesome. I was just flying around with my jetpack. You know, with, with my rubber boots on, so if I fell, you know, it, it wouldn't hurt. Um, just lobbing snowballs, hitting them in the face with my balls. It, it was, uh, that was a tasteless joke, I'm sorry. Um, but, so here's my castle. I made all this straight out of Compton, you know. Um, I, I don't even know what that meant. Um, but I made this all of my own volition. I didn't cheat or anything. Um, I had, you can kind of see here, um, from the middle point down there, I made just a little column here, and then I just spiraled outward and made the base, and just went on from there, and I think I said it already, I used this waterfall to get up. Made door, you got the door handles, um, I think I should have made the, the gate a little bit taller, but I don't really give a shit, uh, <laughs> but this is where all my, my, um, uh, my stuff used to be, since it's you know, powered with lights and lamps. Um, I used to have all like you know my um, a generator tower here with a bad box, and another here. I used to have all my furnaces here. I used to have all my other machines here, um, energy condenser. All my chests were up here, so I could just come over here and you know right click on them. I didn't have to go up there or anything. They were nice and out of the way, um, and that and uh, so in each one of these uh, outlying things we got a ladder going up um, and where did this lead you may ask it leads to my nether portal you probably saw them from the outside here um, also on fire <laughs> um, but that leads to another it's, it's really weird because my my nether portal actually went like into a really small cave and so I had to spend time just fucking digging like for like a hundred meters to get out into the actual nether and not just in a giant like or in a small cave um, so let's head and go ahead and keep heading up 
into my tower. And so yeah, now you see we're just on one of the out, outside things here. And we're really high up now. This this was stressful <laughs> um, and required lots of ladders. Um, because at the time I didn't really know too much about scaffolding. Um, and giant flag. I was gonna turn this into another rack so it was red, a little more Mario like, I guess, but there's just creepers like all over the top of this thing and down there uh, at night. It's, it's pretty silly. Um, so that's my castle. That's my little valley I got going on here. Um, I'll probably do another update video, uh, you know, after after I get that power station set up over here, uh, maybe a quarry going. Um, there's there's a moderator or a mod issue or whatever um, going on. I actually can't use quarries. Um, I'm waiting for the person who runs the server to hop on and um, give me permission. Uh, same with like teleport pipes, but I don't I don't really think I'll need them. Um, because when that dries up, if I don't want to go searching for another thing of lava, uh, I can get some inner chest going in a world anchor, and I can, um, <coughs> I can actually, sorry about that, I can actually get a, uh, nice little, uh, lava farm going from the, uh, from the nether, and pump going there, and using inner chest, and I'll do more research into it, but, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys got any input on uh, maybe what I should do in, in here or how I can have things a little more efficiently, uh, I was going to move all those machines over to this corner so it was closer to this. Um, but, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, see you on uh, when I make another video. Thanks.